Experiment 6, pH measurement and its applications. Method A, determination of pH of acidic and basic solutions. Step 1, measure 20 ml of 0 0.01 molar HCl and 1.0 molar HCl into two separated beaker respectively. Step 2, for 0 0.01 molar HCl, take the pH paper, dip it into the solution for about 5 seconds and refer to the pH color chart of the pH paper. Step 3. To determine the pH of 0 0.01 molar HCl using a pH meter, first you must rinse the sensor with distilled water and then dry it with a clean towel or tissue and then next dip the sensor into the solution. The pH meter will stop read when the decimal point in the pH meter stop or the third A appears on the pH meter. Step 4. Separate the 0 0.01 molar HCS solution into two test tubes. Step 5. Take the first test tube and add 2 to 3 drops of universal indicator and compare the color with the universal indicator chart. Step 6. Take the second test tube and add to 2 to 3 drops of methyl violet and note the color change compared with the color chart of methyl violet. Repeat step 1 until step 6 for 1.0 molar HCl solution. For 0 0.1 molar CH3COOH acetic acid and 1.0 molar CH3COH, repeat step 1 until 3. Then, each solution is separated in two test tubes respectively. For the first test tube, add 2 to 3 drops of methyl violet and compare the color with a color chart. For the second test tube, add 2 to 3 drops of methyl orange and compare the color with the color chart. For basic solution, we are going to determine the pH by using pH paper and also alizarin yellow indicator. Basic solution, step 1. Put about 10 ml of 0 0.1 molar NOH solution into a beaker. Dip the pH paper and then compare with the pH color chart of the pH paper. Step 2. Transfer the solution into a test tube. Add 2 to 3 drops of alizarin yellow and then compare the color with the pH color chart of alizarin yellow. Repeat steps 1 and 2 for 1.0 molar NOH and repeat step 2 only for 0 0.1 molar NH3 and 1.0 molar NH3. These are the results for method A.
Method B. Determination of pH of salt solutions. For this method, you have to determine whether the salt solutions are acidic, basic or neutral by using pH paper and also universal indicator. Step 1. Pour 10 ml of 0.1 molar NaCl solution into a beaker, dip the pH paper and then compare the pH paper with the pH color chart of the pH paper. Step 2. Transfer the solution into the test tube and then add to 2 to 3 drops of universal indicator into the test tube and then compare with the universal indicator color chart. Repeat steps 1 until 2 for 0 0.1 molar NaO acetic and 0 0.1 molar NH4NO3. Then determine whether the salt solutions are acidic, basic or neutral. This is the result for method B. Method C. Determination of the dissociation constant of a weak acid, Ka. Pipette 25 ml of 0 0.1 molar CH3COH into two conical flasks, labeling them X and Y. Add 2 to 3 drops of phenethylene into the conical flask labeled X and titrate it with 0 0.2 molar NOH. Start titrating and stop when the solution becomes pink and that is the end point of the solution. Record the initial and the final reading of the burette. Mix the resulting solution in step 2 which is conical flask X with conical flask Y. Determine the pH of this mixture using the pH meter and calculate the constant of weak acid Ka from the value of pH obtained in the pH meter. This is the result for method C.